Hello, today we're going to be going over how to add text links and images to your WordPress sidebar um, without any HTML knowledge. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials that give you the keys to our presence, putting fast links to us. Learn more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. You can also subscribe to the channel or sign up to our newsletter for more. Alright, so why don't we just dive right into it. Part of the reason we're doing this is um, is because now that the text, now that the links was removed in WordPress 3.5, everybody's wondering how can I add links to my sidebar. And also, um, you know, it's always great to be able to add images to your sidebar without having to code them in. So what you're going to do is, um, you know, land on your dashboard, go over the plugins, and hit Add New. All right, the plugin that we're going to actually um, that we're going to be using is called Black Studio Tiny MC Widget. So you just want to search that. And once you search that. Um, just get it. it should be the first one on the list by Black Studio. Um, just hit install new or install now. Once that's installed, activate it. I also put a link in the description where you can download it directly if you prefer to do it that way. Alright, so now that that's installed, all we're going to do is go to um, go to appearance and widgets. Okay, so you can see in my sidebar now, I have a, I already have a text sidebar. And you can see how I would have to code any HTML. There's no visual elements to it. Now that you've downloaded this plugin, you'll see you have another option here called Black Studio Tiny MCE. So you're going to click that, and you're going to drag it into your right your sidebar. Okay. Once you do that, you'll see you have a much more elaborate uh, editor while you're doing that. You can still switch to HTML if you want. But, you know, that's not the point of the video. <laughs> or why we install the plugin. So let's just start with links. So say the check out these links. And then we'll just go down in here and we'll say we'll make a list. Okay, so link one, link two, link three. Ready? Right, just make each one of these a link. Well, I'm not going to link them into anything, but we'll make it so that they, you can see that they are linked. Okay. Let's see, add link. Okay. So now we're going to hit save. And then when you go open it into a new page, my site into a new page, you can see that it has added each of these links to the sidebar. All right, easy enough. Um, just a quick note: when you're adding, you're probably going to want to add regular text also, um, and format it, their colors and stuff like that, because that's another thing you need to be able to have HTML do. That's fine. So you say this is text. Uh, this is text. And you can do whatever you want with it. You can make it bold, red, and you can see that it automatically converts the HTML for you. Um, the thing I want to note is that when you hit the enter the tab button, it kind of makes way too much space, in my opinion. I don't know if it's just this theme that I'm using, but I just wanted to say that. So if I did that, you can see that kind of adds a pretty big line break between. So to, to get rid of that, what I was doing is um, you just hold down shift. Whoops. You just hold down shift and then enter. Hold on a second. That's what I was doing before. There, so shift and enter, and then you can say this is text. And then you can see it doesn't have that extra line. All right, let's just quickly cover adding images to the sidebar. Um, what you're going to do is say you want to have a free report on your website. So I'll say download my free report. And now I'm going to have a, an image for the call to action instead of having it just be a text link. What I'll do is I'll hit add. I'll click in within where I want it to go in here, and I'll click add media. You can either upload the image. Um, I already have it on this, on here, so I'm just going to go right to this one. Advertising with Google AdWords, instant access. You get that PDF icon. You are going to want to make sure that your image isn't way bigger than the sidebar. Um, so what you're going to do is, mine's this full-size image is only 275 pixels wide anyway, so that should be fine. Uh, I guess we'll just find out in a second. So what, all you do is hit insert into post. 
You can see it adds the image. Hit save, refresh the page, and then you can see that my image is there. It is a little big. It is a tiny bit big. So, you know, you might want to resize that elsewhere. You can also click on the image after you've already added it, and then click on. So what I did was, I'll just um, come in here for a minute. You can click on the image, and then click Edit Image. Once you do that, you can make the size. I'll make it 20% smaller. Hit update, save, and then you can see that it is. It fits in the sidebar a little bit better now. It's not as big. Now, to, I'll link it to my. Um, <laughs> since we're doing this anyway, I'll link it to my um, PDF. To do that, I'm just going to open up my media. All you got to do is get the link get the file URL. Um, if you're linking it to a page, if you're linking it to a page, then all you have to do is um, go back and get the um, get the page URL and then click on your image, hit link, paste it into there. I want it to open to a new tab since it's a PDF. I don't want them taking them completely off my site. And now you can see that if I go look at the website, I can cl now click on this instant access and it will bring me right to the, the PDF. Alright, so after it loads, I'll let it load for a second. There it goes. Alright, so this is another tutorial provided by Compete. dot com slash tutorials.